Hey, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to DIY Daily Custom. Do it yourself. RC four wheel drive. Today we are going to touch base on uh, a cheaper brand uh, that most people could afford to something a little bit more expensive. Not very expensive, but it is a little bit more quality. <clears throat> now, um, I've been in this game for about six months now. I do have a little bit experience from this and that and some of the things I like about it, some things I don't like about it. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk about how durable they both are in terms of handling, and then uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, engine speed when it comes to crawling, okay? So those are the two things I'm gonna be talking about today. And if you have any questions, drop in the comments below, and I will answer you. So like I said again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, so let's get on. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this one. This is the Everest Gen 7 from Red Cat. I got this baby, this bad boy, about six months ago, and it's still here. Um, the good things I like about this thing here is that it's very durable. You know, this, this thing right here is very durable. Um, it's a tough body. It flip rolls many, many times, and uh, it's still here. You know, this thing right here is still here. Um, kid you not, it's played by my four-year-old son for about six months now, and this thing is still alive. So it's pretty durable. I would recommend to any new uh, people that are introduced into this game uh, to play with it, get used to it, okay? Now, one thing that I like about it also is that this, this little meal here comes somewhat complete when you, when you talk about like the details and the arts it has its fenders the hard fenders it has bumpers front back it kind of have a little special gadget up here it makes it look a little bit more trail ready complete now of course i have to add this winch to it along with rims you know i add a little bit here and there but uh beside that you know, this is a very nice start off kit, if I were to say. It will cost anywhere maybe about $300, $299, I would say out the door with a uh, charger and uh, battery and everything. Maybe, I would say about close to $400, and you'll be ready to rock and roll. And it will last you very good times if you handle with good care. Like I said, it takes a lot of beating. I'm not going to lie. It's tough. <clears throat> now, the one thing I don't like about it is that, well, it's not that I don't like about it, but I wish it could be better, is that it only have one gear. So, with that being said, if you go to trails and hills and stuff like that, it's fine. But then when it comes to crawling, then to me, it could go over boulders and rocks like every other uh, RC uh, four-wheel cars. But the art of crawling this one doesn't give me the natural look so that's the only thing but beside that it's fine for kids no problem i would say four or five i would say four years old because my four years old is playing it four years old to like about 10 12 years old it's fine this one is perfect for starter all right so that's that it's pretty nice i like the fact that you can actually open it like this and that was that's it so very simple easy Okay, so that's that. But yeah, this bad boy right here has been with me for quite some time. And it's 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 still here. Still have more times to go. But I never give up on this baby right here. Alright, so that's that. Like I said again, tough body. Very tough meal over here. Uh, I will recommend for beginners. Alright, so that's that. Engine wise, uh, the engine transmission, the servo. I've been having problems for about six months now, so I give a lot of props to uh, Red Cat, you know, this Everest 7, pretty tough, okay? So that's that. <clears throat> Next, I'll be talking about here is my Trail Finder 2. This is my Trail Finder 2 right here. Uh, some of the good things that I like about it is that, number one, it, it comes with a hard body. I prefer hard body over this plastic body, even though I would say the plastic body right here 
it's it's pretty much uh, it will probably last longer when it comes to like tumbling. But this hard body to me, it makes me feel like I have to be extra careful when it comes out to driving. So it makes me feel like it's real. So I take extra care of it. When I'm gonna crawl on something, I wanna make sure it's as natural as it can be. So <clears throat> that gives me that mindset that, hey, make sure you don't tip it for no reason because you're gonna destroy it. So that's that. <clears throat> Beside that, um, I would say that one of the reasons why that I would pay for this one, even though it's a little bit more expensive than this uh, Gen 7 here, is because of the, the, the detail that it has. It comes with leaf springs. Uh, so I was shocked. I mean, when I first saw one and I took over, uh, not took over, I took off the cover and I see how the way the engine is placed, the transmission, transfer case, and so forth. It really locked me into where I got to own one of this. So that's why I got this one here today. Of course, <clears throat> even though it's so nice, one of the downfall I don't like about it is that if it's straight off manufacturing the way it is, it will not flex as much as you see here. See this right now? We are, the reason why it was able to flex this much is because of the shackles and stuff that I add into it. But originally, it's not going to give you this much of a flex. So that's the only downfall. If you're already so happy up front, own it, and you, you wish it was already the way it is, you kind of had to play with it. You kind of have to soup it up just like a real car. This one right here, just like a real truck. So, uh, and, and I prefer that. And, you know, for me, it's fun. It's very interesting to see how much I could do to it to make it better. So that's that. <clears throat> uh, beside that, this one right here. I would say I don't recommend it for like kids. You know, I don't recommend it for kids. I would say under 10 year old, if they're not experiencing it. Uh, if you just give to a, a, a kid that have no experience in it, anybody around 10 year old and down, down, I won't really recommend it to. But you make the call. To me, this is, I consider it's very fragile. It does break. Um, the amount of abuse that this Gen 7 took from my 4 years old, I, I believe personally that if I was to give him my TF2, he will probably destroy it in like just maybe 30 minutes or an hour. So I never let him like really play hard on it. I do let him play on it on the low gear, slowly going around in flat lands, right? But no crawling, none of that stuff. Um, but yeah, this one right here, it, one of the... Another thing that I uh, really like about it is that it has a two-speed. So straight from manufacturer, it has a two-speed transmission. So that for, to me, when I switch it to low gear and when I start to go over rocks and boulder, the way how it crawls, this thing gives me more of a natural crawling look, okay? It gives me more natural crawling look. That's why I liked it because it's slowly going in just like a real, real vehicle. So that's the one thing I like about it, okay? And uh, one, like I say again, if, if you like off-roading, when you put it into the low gear, you can really see this mule come to life and you can actually feel it. It feels so real that every moment you feel so like, you know, you feel so good just to see it going through so like, trails and rocks and rivers and stuff like that so that's why this trail find is in most of my video it is my baby right here and um yeah so again like i say this one right here durable uh it does take a lot of beating uh stuff like that the only downfall is that it only have one speed and it's not a crawling mode speed so when it comes to really like have to crawl over rocks and boulders and cliff and stuff like that, it doesn't give you a supernatural look. This one, uh, the body, I don't think it's gonna take much of a beating. If it does fall a lot, you might break it. Uh, it's pretty, uh, it's hard plastic, so it's gonna probably be fragile. Uh, but beside that, uh, the suspension wise, the art, the design of this, is, it gives you this real look to it and uh, stuff like that. Now, the good thing, like I said again, is that it has a two-speed. So with this two-speed, uh, you can actually get 
a real original, if I were to say, natural crawling effect uh, when you put on a camera mode to record it and you look at it, the way how it crawls, it's just, I just can't explain it, you know, you just feel so good to see the, the tires, the way how the tire grabs, you know, slowly crawling over rocks and boulders and stuff like that, so, alright, uh, I guess that's my touch to it. Recommend for kids under 10 years old, not recommend for kids under 10 years old. Um, this one's cheaper, this one's a little bit more expensive. The things that I've done to this one, I would say in total, off the brand new package and all the things I've done to it, maybe about 1200 already or something like that, which this one stays about 350 bucks ever since. So, um, you know, you pay a little bit extra for this one to get the second speed, to get the details and the arts. You know, the leaf spring, the very natural look, uh, and the rock crawling, uh, natural crawling style. So that's that. So, uh, yeah, again, if you guys have any questions, comments, let me, let me know. Drop it on the comments below. And I for sure will try to answer your question or, and uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Um, but, yeah, so... Alright guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the subscribe button right here on the bottom, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out guys.